bad guys here. Can I get run? No, oh, he saw me. Oh. Come on. Easy enough done. So that wasn't all as bad as I was uh, expecting, but let's move on. There's a chest up there. No, it's not. It's one of those mag goos. Well, we left now. Ooh, there's a travel gate. So we must be close to a place of import, which is probably Golden Paw up there. Oh yeah, it is. It's on the map. Get out of the way. The calm lands. This is not the calm lands. Not calm at all. And we're sin. <laughs> oh, fell off your ten weapons. Holy shit, Roland's damage is getting insane. Alright. We're cutting through these guys. So I'm happy with that. There's a chest around there. I don't think, no, there's not a way to get there. Oh well. I was say, I have a feeling I will be coming back to these lands just for the sheer size of them. So we're not exactly in a rush to pick things up. Oh, I can jump in the overworld. Okay. Where did Roland go? I'm being chased by the Wyvern. I think I can avoid him though. Ah, got the chest though. Haha! <laughs> What's that? Is that another chest or is that just another no, that's just another sparkly thing? I'll take it anyway. A just right button. Fair enough. Okay. And this looks to be golden paw. Or it's a gold paw, not golden paw. Close enough. This looks interesting. Oh, uh, like that music. Oh my! Gosh! I heard Golden Pearl was show you were blowing me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I forgot the accent I gave him. I was Lister. Nah. Oh dear. Beautiful, isn't it? I have a feeling it's gonna. I'm gonna like this place. Then their casinos make a fortune from all the easy marks that come flooding in through the gates of their droves, and it all goes straight into the government's pocket. Stay tuned, see. So the government runs the casinos, huh? Guess we better find Pug. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if we ask nicely, he'll soon see sense and let Nile have his for. <laughs> You're so naive. Although I'm not exactly where to, sure where to look for him. It'll be that big castle-looking thingy up the top of the town there, won't it? That looks like the Grand Hyrola Palace, if you bleh, would live to me. It seems a good place to start as any. Let's head up there and see what we can see. Alright. Let's give a little save. Let's travel gate, even. No save point? Ah, oh, I was kind of hoping there'd be a save point nearby. Who's this guy? Longmane. Yeah. A lion cat, but guy with the name Longmane. Ah. <sighs> So here you are, you don't seem the least, but battle hardened. If you wish to train, you come back and a few victories under your belt. This looks like there's a dojo or something. Just right button. Uh, push thread. Hmm. See, what if your opponent were to do the same? Grown up little boy. Just remember to tell you it is to pass on the right. My fortune teller told me it was the best way of becoming luckier in love. Alright. Good day to you. <laughs> I'm gonna go, Paul, my sweet little soldier. I hope you have fun while you're here. I got this. I do love this style of architecture. It's absolutely beautiful. The big round gates and such. It's so cool. 
Who are you? Ah, oh, yes. If it tastes our water, if you must meet Jack Pocket, there's no going back. Especially since it cuts simply melt in the mouth. Sizzling to home and irresistible. Alright. Uh, let's see what I can get here. Boost your resistance. Makes criticals more likely. Resistance to poison. Uh, critical damage. <laughs> okay. Come, on, Come back to that later. I'll be seeing you again soon. Come back to that later. <gasps> Smell that. Mm. Uh, okay. There's a weapon stall up here. Let's see, can I get look at this weapon? There we go. Uh, so it looks like there's an item stall over there to the left. In Luckless Lane. I have a feeling I'm going to be ambushed there or something. And there's a weapon shop up there. So. Let's take a moment to organise our things. Let's see if we picked anything up. New swords? Nope. Boost damage done by firearms. So, we'll give that to you. Uh, no new swords. I did a colony axe though, so we'll give that to you. There we go. That's better. So we can sell all your other ones. Do you have any armor or anything on you? Mm, nope. Right ring. This is max HP. Yeah, okay, I'll give that to you. There we are. So we can sell some of our tat. Hmm. And it's a guard. Can't decide which weapon to buy. Welcome. The Iron Orchard Outfitters. Let's see what you have. Ooh. It's better than most of the swords I have. Silk slippers. Better than most people's boots as well. Take your time. Alright. So let's sell all the stuff first. Take your time. Come back anytime. Alright. So we cleared out our tat. Let's head down to the other little item shop and see what we can find. Oh, I suppose it's so cool. He's got a black eye. Hello there. Scary looking man. You smell of some money about you. You just look so frightened, you've nothing to fear from me. I shall not part you from you guilders. There are so called games of chance, however. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get ambushed in this alley. What's this? Some days you don't smell. You have to go pony to look, change everything forever. One day I'll be big and never have to dance again. Alright. Let's see. What have you got for us? <laughs> Looking Lotus Emporium. Ah. Leave your mouth burning for days. Hmm. hmm. Not a status item, but don't much. need any of those for now. Picked up a ton of them. You look oh. interesting. Dazzing. Woods peace. How's it supposed to be my day off? And I'm still hounded mercilessly. Alright, well, leave you alone. Alright, let's move on. Ooh, fishing. Okay. And we'll go up here. Ooh, shiny thing. A piece of comfy cloth. Ah. Pebbles, of course, pebbles. What's over here? Can I go into this one? Oh, I can. Anything interesting? Mm, nope. Mm, okay. That is not the button I meant to press. Moving on. It's over here. Just for the sea shake of exploration. Cause this place is really cool. Came to Pebble. What's your house? Nothing. Alright. 
Ah, got it. Oh, missed. Oh well. Moving on. Nothing there. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Invisible walls everywhere. Alright. I would love to go to Japan at some point and see some of the buildings I actually like this. And let's do it the right way. Yeah. I need to go this way. There we are. That is a really cool bridge. Okay. Ah. My uh Suspicion of there being a shiny thing was correct. Oh, those are creepy. Like lion faces. Gosh. This is a scene it looks like. It's very lively, isn't it? <laughs> Batu wants to go gambling. Alright. Probably can't go in here yet, can I? Mm. Uh, no, not letting me. Not yet. Got to peace. Okay. And let's see. Oh, this is rough. I do have to give the visuals in this game a lot of credit. Because look how pretty that is. Absolutely fabulous. And a another trip gate. I was expecting these trip gates to be a little bit rarer, but they're just everywhere. Oh, cutting. Huh? What's all that noise, I wonder? It sounds like a festival of some sort. Oh, who's this guy? It's a pupper. Good natured young man. Uh, you've come to the most auspicious time, friends. Today is the day on which Lady Lux die decides the taxes for the month to come. That sounds like a horrible system of government. Should she rule a one, we will pay no taxes at all. Really? Really? None at all? Hmm. Alas, for the last two months she has ruled sixes. It's rigged. It is goddamn rigged. And what happens then? <sighs> the taxes increase sixfold. You're choking! How's anyone meant to afford that? It's hard, young lady, but such are the vagarities of fortune, and without fortune, what is gold ball? Although I cannot say a one would not be welcome. Taxation based on a dice rule? That sounds a little irresponsible. It's our way, and besides, it's not as fun to trust all to fortune. Do you place one's fate on a single throw of the die? Even our criminal trials are head this way. That is a horrible, horrible system. Guilt or innocence are decided by the judgment of the dice. What? That sounds risky. Lofty seems to like that idea. Look at those dead little fish eyes. <laughs> Indeed, but those of the blessed and by fortune have nothing to fear. Hmm? Ah, Master Pug is here. The ceremony is beginning. This is a horrible, horrible idea. It is, that voice acting. It is time! It's gonna be sixes again. Lady of Fortune, may luck be on our side this month! Oh god. The big bug eyes of the pugs. Oh, come on. That was rigged. And we all know it. Taxes for the month will increase sixfold. Tighten your belts and trust any luck, fellow citizens of Gold Hall. All will be well. Another six? I was certain our luck had turned. Ah, oh, all is the mistress of fortune, wills it? Rigged! Rigged! So that was Master Pug. Yeah, and if that, if what that kid said was true, he's been rolling nothing but sixes for these past three months. Oh, flipping heck. 
Well, that's not right, is it? The whole thing must be rigged. Listen here. We'll not get far making such accusations without proof, girlie. We'd best go see the man himself. He's in that big building, right? The Grand High Rulers Hall. We're probably gonna have to earn our way in by winning a couple of games in the uh, lower district. I bet you that's gonna, that's gonna happen. Oh, Lady Luck, how can you bring such misfortune? You have rolled yet another six and the taxes will once again rise. I do not know how much I can take of this. Truly, I feel your pain. If Lady Luck is doing it, we must obey. It seems Golden Pole is short of luck lately. Alright. <sighs> Everyone cleared out of here bright and quick. And the platform's gone too. Inconsistencies between cutscenes and game world. Ugh. Only those with business may enter. Dial sent us. We have urgent business with the Grand High Roller. Master Pog is occupied. He will see no one. But, but, but it's important. No one. Say. How about we play you for the chance to see him? Put the decision in the hands of Mistress of Fortune. A game of dice? Of course you know how to play it. If you win, you'll have your audience. If you lose, you'll pay me. I think we can accept those terms. Excellent! I'll make ready. Gather together what money you could wager and speak with me again. Hmm. Not sure there's not a save point right here. Alright, Lofty's fucking off. He's done with our shit. Alright. Well, are you ready? The stake will be 1,000 guilders. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to pay afterwards, if you prefer, of course. Shall we begin? Not yet. I'm gonna actually make sure I have a 1,000 guilders. I do. We should be okay. Uh, Alright, let's give it a go. What game are we playing? We shall play a round of red and black. The game uses three dice. I will throw two dice and confirm the numbers rolled. And then he will then decide whether the roll of the third die will bring a total to of all three to eleven or more, or if it will be less. If you believe it'll be eleven or more, you will call red, if less, black. I will get that mixed up, I know I will. However, when three ones are ruled or three sixes, red and black will be turned on their heads. Oh god. That means despite the total of three, our three ones will count as red, and despite the total of 18, our three sixes will count as black. I have to write this down, I'm gonna forget. Alright, so under was red. Uh, red was less than 11. Or was it the other way around? Can you explain again! Okay. If you believe it will be 11 or more, so more than 11, less than is black, except for three ones or three sixes. Alright, okay. This is why you keep a notepad on hand. Uh, okay, I get it now. They seem fair enough, slightly in our favour, if anything. That's a fine set of desks there, mighty. They'd be worth a pretty penny, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> I think you keep your ha ha filthy hands away from them. These are sacred items, entrusted only to the highest ranking servants of the realm. They are probably fixed. Now, let us begin. I will start by rolling the first two dice. Seven. Your total is seven. Well, do you call red or black? Uh, I'm gonna say more this time, so we'll call red. Oh, I didn't even need to note it, it gives you a hint. Train on that. A four hires old. The final day is I'm gonna lose this. Ah! Total is eight. Black is victorious. I win. Oh no, we lost. My condolences, young man. Uh, might you consider playing another round? Certainly, I'm a man of Gopal. Your debt will increase, of course, if you're happy to proceed nonetheless. Uh, all right then? Hey. What are you doing, Evan? Go on, my son! <laughs> you 
You can do it. Thrash the beggar. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Do we suspect that a third one's going to rule? If his day are fixed like I think they are. Uh... Alright, cool. We'll give it a try. We'll let the final die decide. Ah! I'm pretty sure this is scripted. Ah, oh, you're getting the hang of it, laddie. That much is plain. Well, have you had enough? Do you wish to continue? Your debt will increase still further. Ah! Uh, it is scripted. I can't back out. Hmm. Two sixes. Fuck this. Very well. See. Let it decide. It's gonna come up with a one. God darn it. <laughs> you almost had the cur. I'll do it this time. Oh, come on! Give up! But, but. But I'm doing so well! No, you're not! Three losses. How unfortunate. Now, if you began to hand over the ten million. Snakes alive! You doggy, it was only a thousand a minute ago. <laughs> I warned you, did I not? Twice, in fact. As you continue to lose, your debt grows. After each loss, it increases 100 fold. 100 rises to 100,000, 100,000 to 10 million. You mentioned the debt, but not the amount. I wouldn't exactly call that informed consent. Oh my. We don't have anywhere near that much. Oh, Very bloody well. hell. Very well. You seem trustworthy. I will allow you to delay the payment of your debt. Yep. Yeah. I knew this was going to happen. Do not be alarmed. The creature will leave you when your debt is paid. Oh, God.